2020 was a crazy year uh, in regards, uh, especially and obviously to COVID. Uh, when mid-March came, we literally had to reinvent the way we were running our credit union. Well, our senior team was meeting daily, making decisions. Uh, we had to close our lobbies. Uh, we had to deal with testing and quarantine. Uh, we wanted to make it, uh, we made a concerted effort to continue offering all services to our members, not just essential services, but all services. And we thought that was important uh, so that our membership and the people in general would have continued confidence in the credit union and financial system in the United States. Um, but at the same time, we had to make it a priority. Uh, our number one priority had to be the safety of our members and our employees. So we had to balance that out. Um, there was a side effect, and, and that is that the, his, the interest rate uh, crashed quickly to a historical all-time lows on both deposits and loans. Made it very difficult um, to manage the credit union under pretty stressed conditions. But all in all, considering, um, I think we navigated that uh, whole situation pretty well. One thing we did uh, that was much better in 2020 was uh, in 19, the fall of 19 had one of the absolute worst uh, falls ever for farming. Uh, they had horrible weather, horrible harvest conditions, and on top of that, the prices were very low. 2020 really um, was significantly better from the agricultural standpoint. We had just nearly perfect harvest, harvest conditions, uh, much improved pricing, and uh, you know they say in North Dakota, as the agricultural economy goes, North Dakota's economy goes, and we definitely, we definitely felt that. Uh, another strong point in 2020 was the increase in deposits. Uh, at FCCU, we increased over 100 million deposits uh, during 2020. Typically, we're struggling uh, to get six and seven percent in in new deposits. Uh, this year, we achieved almost 15 percent. Um, so, a combination of that, those were two uh, really good points for 2020. For sure. So, for 2021. Um, you know, there's certainly a lot of challenges hanging on. Uh, COVID is still out there, uh, vaccine, how effective it'll be. A lot of things going on, but uh, we, we feel that we are in a very good position um, to move forward into a successful 2021. Uh, there's no guarantees it'll be better. We have been blessed over the past 10 years to have a strong growth and growth is imperative for all in finance, for all financial institutions. Without growth, um, you become insignificant. You cannot afford to pay for the services that your members want to see. And uh, we, we have been, we've had continued growth over the past uh, 10 years. Uh, with that, you know, we brought on a new branch uh, this past year in Crookston. Uh, we are opening a new facility up near NDSU that we're placing a, another facility that was over 100 years old. And then we're adding a whole new community in Mandan, North Dakota, that should come on in the latter part of 2021. Um, so we feel strong that there's going to be continued growth. That's important. Uh, we need it for the future of our credit union. So uh, that's what excites me the most. Just to finish up, uh, I want to thank everyone for their patience and support in 2020. Uh, that would be both the members and our employees. Uh, it was certainly uh, a year for the books. Uh, hopefully it, it won't go forward like that. But I mean, we had to put up with branch closures. We had to put up with uh, limited staffing. Our staff had to work harder in many instances because there would be employees out for extended periods of time through quarantine. Um, our membership had to deal with the disruption and everybody rolled with it. Um, we're very proud of the employees and I am very appreciative of the membership, uh, how we evolved. I said we had to reinvent our business um, and I think our members had to reinvent how they did business with the Fed. And uh, we were successful at that. Uh, as much as we could, we limited the impact, we kept things going. Um, there's no guarantee that 2021 will be better, but uh, we're definitely, uh, we're well positioned and we're excited to, uh, to see if we can make it better.